All right, what am I going to be saying to that controller is what I'm thinking. Ah, uh, well, first of all, you're going to want to load 135.8 in your comp one. So we'll get lined up here on the runway. Yep. And uh, if you were flying a lesser aircraft, you would want to confirm that your DG matches the runway heading, of course. And don't go all the way back. Just yep. let it idle run 1,000 RPM. That's what it likes. Okay. Boys have a tune, so it's not going to quit, but it likes about 1,000. Okay. All right. Okay, so load 135.8 in your COM-1. COM-1? Uh, this is this is COM-1. Okay. So I'm so, this is COM-2. This is the primary COM, right? Okay. So we'll all call this primary COM. Okay. Which is COM-2. 135.8. And then you're going to get on there. You're going to say, Tallahassee Approach 934 Tango is off Quincy through 1,300 or whatever. IFR to Albany, request clearance. Okay. Pretty simple. And he'll tell you to squawk a code, then he'll get back to you after that. Okay. Okay. Ready. One, three, two, we're good to go. All right. Quincy traffic, Bonanza 934 Tango is going to be departing on 32, Quincy traffic. Same northbound departure, whatever. Right rudder. Yep. The powerful engine, right rudder. And you're looking to rotate at 80. So airspeed's alive, engine instruments are on the green. We got fuel flow, we got manifold pressure, we have RPMs. There's your 80, go ahead, rotate. All right, you got a positive rate of climb, no runway remaining, gear up. You get to a reasonable altitude here, nose it over, begin to nose it over, pick up some cooling airflow. Okay. And uh, pitch for 120 miles an hour. Okay. To start. Just nose it over. This is your 120 right here. Yep. Because you want to keep these CHTs down, so get the nose down. Go, get it down to 130. Okay. Different. I, I forget how different it is. Huh. I'm, I've been using that cicada you can't see over the, over the cowling. Right, right, right. Well, I actually need to get a cushion for this seat because, for whatever reason, I can see I can see better in the pilot seat than I can in the co-pilot seat. <laughs> so maybe I, I'll bring a cushion next time. I was gonna be. Uh, oh, your hood? Yeah, I got okay. it in here somewhere. You can't find it. I've got one. I can break out there for you. You do. No. You got where? where yeah, don't worry at? about it. Okay. Let's. We'll, we'll get on with Tallahassee Approach first. So okay. switch over to them. Actually, before we do any of this, let's pick up our on-course heading here of 017. So turn right to 017 and keep the climb coming to 3000. Let's get established. Yep. Okay. Are you good? Yep. On that heading? You have time to put this on? Yep. Okay. All right. There you go. We're already... Okay, so you're going to call them up. You'll say, tell us approach Bonanza 934 Tango off Quincy for 2,500 or whatever the altitude is when you call okay. IFR to Albany request clearance. Tallahassee approach, Bonanza 934 Tango uh, at 1,600, uh, requesting clearance for, or excuse me, uh, 2,700, uh, 2, uh, looking for clearance to Albany, 934 Tango. Bonanza 934 Tango, Telaski Approach, Telaski Altimeter 29090, Squawk 5537. 5537. 5537, or 5537, uh, 943-Tango. Alright, so, while you were saying all this, you, you turned about 17 degrees to the left, so let's pick oh, up this yep, heading yep. 017. Aviate, navigate, communicate. Bonanza 34 Tango, radar contact, 5 miles north, uh, Quincy Airport, altitude indicates 3000. Cleared to Albany, as filed. Cleared to Albany, as filed for November 934 Tango. Bonanza 34 Tango, reback is correct. Clear direct pecan. Clear direct pecan 34 Tango. What's that? Say that. Clear direct pecan 34 Tango. Say Clear direct pecan 34 Tango. Clear direct pecan 34 Tango. Exactly. Yeah, so just okay. read back when he tells okay. you that. Right, exactly. Uh, let me sync this for you. Okay, so you're about 100 feet high. So. 
we filed for 3,000 feet, so you don't want to bust an altitude like you're doing. You're climbing right, right now. Right. Okay. So let's get back. Let's pitch for 3,000 or uh, pitch for level flight. Okay. And uh, let's pull some power so we get back down to 3,000. November 350, contact Jacksonville Center 120.82. 22, 143, President. There you go. Now, 16 inches is good. That'll get you down to 3,000. Okay. And remember, just maintain your 017 track. Yep. I'm going to update this for you. So as you fly, um, it doesn't automatically update your uh, CDI. So you just hit direct and then direct to. Okay. It'll update it for you. So the new on course uh, heading is 021, okay. desired train. There's your 3000. Yep. So coming on a uh, what? Prop. Oh, just keep it there for now. Okay. Keep it there. Let's get this, just get established here. Okay. At 3000 and um, a heading of uh, 021. And if you need your, um, the arrow obviously provides an indication, but if you, if you want, some redundancy, you can put your heading bug on um, 021 as well, if you need that. Okay, there is a heading bug. Yep. What do you push? No, you just twist, just like okay. you do in a, in a DG, conventional okay. DG. Oh, I see it. So, I mean, if that helps you, there you yeah, go. Yeah, no, it you does, because I'm used to that. And actually, that's a good idea for every takeoff, really, just to have the heading bug. That's, uh, that's what I was talking three, about. Eight, nine, golf, radar services because then all you got to do, VFR, if you go into the clouds and you lose situational cruise. awareness, you just hit the autopilot on. Right. You know? So you trimmed out pretty good there? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, how about you add some power? Okay. About 16 inches. Typically, we use that in descent. Okay. So how about 21 inches? Matter of fact, just to find full power, let her speed up. Don't let her climb. Hold the pitch attitude so you maintain straight and level flight. And just, just let's build some airspeed here. And what I like to do is I like to see how fast I can get it. Okay. Before I then reduce the cruise power. Because there'll be some situations where, I mean, if you were to keep it at 16 inches there, even if you if you go up to 21 inches, which is cruise power, yep. um, it might not regain all the airspeed you were just lost. So I like to get it nice and fast and then take it back to, to cruise power. Okay, so we're, pl we're plenty fast now, 147 knots across the ground. You can reduce climb power to, uh, we'll call it 21 inches. Okay. So reduce that first, manifold pressure. And you can take the prop back to, what do you think, 2350? Okay. Right there. Nope. Oh, I was at 2250. Or 2200. Yeah. Were, you, were you good at math in uh, high school? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, all right. You can. <laughs> neither was I. It's taken me a long time to read attack. Well, I have the approach <laughs> November 47918. I'm with you at 6500. November 47918. Tell us the approach. Good evening. Tell us the ultimate 2990. For this full down. Uh, he's not a fool. He's a, he's a bright guy. Everybody in Tallahassee Approach is bright, folks. <laughs> a bunch of good controllers. We love you with all our hearts. So you got 134.45 loaded now in the primary, so call him up and say uh, Jack Center Bonanza 934 Tango is level 3000. Oh. Jacksonville Center of Bonanza 934 Tango is level at 3000. Bonanza 934 Tango, Jack Center, I'll be out. Tibet 2991. 2991 for 34 Tango. Yeah, just say 9-1 or whatever. You don't even need to say the call sign. Go ahead and set your altimeter. 9-1 to 9 9 one. There you go. Albany Tower, information uniform, 2253 Sulu, wind 220 at 3, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 33.23, altimeter 2901. Visual approach on way 23 in use, advice on initial contact. You have information uniform. Okay, we have uniform. Well, how about this? Since we're going to have to do it, let's just find the RNAV runway 22 approach. Okay. You want to do that? I've never done it, so let's good. do it. Good. Sounds good. Uh, we're not going to get to be able to do the VOR arc here, but how about on the way back we can do a uh, simulated VOR 
uh, DME arc around uh, the Seminole, the OR. Okay. So we'll get that covered. Uh, so I'll look at the plate here. This is what we're going to request. We're going to request the RNM runway 22 approach at Albany. Um, final approach course is 227. That's going to be automatic. You won't have to set that. GPS will, and the G5 will take care of all that for you. Okay. Um, coming down to the, the profile view here, the initial approach fix is a WAVCA. I'm going to ask him if we can pick it up from the intermediate approach fix okay. of Jevma. That'll give you the experience to turn on onto the approach. We'll we'll fly from Jebma to Wavka, and then from Wavka to Uniki, which is the final approach fix. Yep. Two thousand feet crossing Uniki, then we can descend to our minimums, LPV minimums, GPS of five thirty one and one and a quarter viz, which we so. Good. Well, this will be fun. And then uh, to help you with situational awareness, I just go. Put it on the map. Yeah, that's what I used to. That's very cool. Yeah, how it does that. And then while you know, while I'm in cruise here, and I've got um, a fair amount of bandwidth available to me, mental bandwidth, I will load everything that I need. Uh, he he's going to switch this over to one two five point seven five. I guarantee it, because that's what the approach facility is on the chart. Okay. So we'll just put that in here. One two five seven five. But we won't even need to think about it. He's going to tell us that. We'll confirm it, and we'll switch, and, and we'll contact Jack Center. Right. On 12575. And then we'll load tower and all that stuff later on. This approach is always good to brief. Climb to 3,000 direct uh, Z-tier on a track of 197 to Elmo. All that is programmed into the GPS. Number 934 Tango, Jack. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead for 934 Tango. Yes, sir. What are you looking for at Albany? Uh, RNAV runway 22 approach. Runway, um, uh, excuse me, RNAV runway 22 approach. Number 934 Tango, right. Thank you. I knew we were looking for something because he saw our flight plan. Yeah. <laughs> right? And we had the PZD and the AUVO and all that crap in there. Spooky 16 Jackson, Roger. I'm altimeter 29 or 89. Of course, when you get your rating and you're able to fly with the autopilot, life is going to get a whole lot easier. Yeah. You just dial all this stuff in. Franco didn't let you fly with the autopilot, did he? No. no I'm sorry, who's uh, that? Good. He showed you how to use it? No. No? Okay. He didn't even show you how to use it. Well, that's no. good. That's good practice. Yeah, no, no. Still on Jack Center. So, so we've requested the RNAV runway 22, right? Yep. So yeah. Let's go over here. Hit the procedure button. And we're going to find approach, so click on the approach box. Alright. And click, there's airport Albany, good. So hit the approach box next to Albany. And scroll down to the uh, RNAV runway 22. There you go, RNAV 22 GPS LPV, that's what we want. So click on that. And you're going to, we, now we haven't been cleared for the approach yet, so we're just going to load the approach. So click on load approach. And now, this is where I like to review everything on the approach. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross-check. Wavka, Uniki. Who was that? Dudki. All the way down to runway 22. Yeah, 141, you got one, two, and the missed four, approach is Z-Tur. And we already confirmed that. Z-Tur. Right, so all the waypoints are correct, and they what, concur uh, with the approach plate. Uh, okay. Two, zero, point eight, two, 20, 82. Now we're on, we're on vector, he's vectoring us right now. So I'm just, I'm just going to click um, WAVCA, I'm going to highlight WAVCA here, and hit direct to WAVCA. So, you know, we're, we're, we've got everything, got everything loaded now to be able to fly the approach. Number 934, Tango, turn right, right turn heading of 230. Right turn, 230, 34 Tango. Yeah, sorry about that. Number 934 Tango, right turn heading 050. 050 for 34 Tango. And the only additional workload 3460, contact Jack, approach 127. with an ILS is that you got to load the frequency into, into your nav radio. 
on this one, on an RNAV, you don't have to worry about that. Cat's fight 9412, Jackson, 125.37. You know what standard rate is, right? All the way, see that box? Okay, yeah. I didn't, yeah, I was trying to figure it, just go by feel. Yeah, exactly. Because I didn't know where to look. That white line. Yeah. That's okay. standard rate, yeah. There's, there's zero five zero. Oh yeah, there's your ball, and there are your two your two lines, your two standard rate lines. It's a little bit different on every aircraft on the G1000. The lines are actually on the um, on the HSI. There are trend lines, trend, and uh, the two white markers on the HSI. So he might just have us going to uh, Jevma, which is the initial approach fix. Okay. We'll see what he, we'll see what he does. Um, I'm going to take a look at our flight plan. Go to flight plan here. This is what we have going on here. I'm going to go to the approach. Click on the approach. Just in case, if he says direct Jevma, I'm going to pick this approach up from Jevma. So there's our our transition. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll load it. We'll load it and activate. You're flying ahead. Him. So I think he has us going to Jebma, which is our initial approach fix. We're going to hit that. Then we'll turn right, heading 137 to okay. Wavka. That's six miles. See that in parentheses, six miles. Yeah. And then you'll turn inbound on the final approach course of 227 from there. Which is an, another 6.6. 6. Um, it's 6.6 6 to uh, uh, to, to Uniki, which is the final yeah. approach fix. And then from Uniki, it's, oh, what is it? 2.7 plus 1.3 plus 1.4, so that's called five miles or whatever. Number 527, leave with Charlie Jackson, Center Roger, Charlie Axel, altimeter 2990, break. Number 814, Charlie Bravo, 5500, Jackson, Roger, I'm altimeter 29890. And don't worry about these guys. Number 934, Tango, maintain out above 3000 until Jebma cleared the RNAV runway 2-2. Landing 2-3 approach. At about 3,000, tell Jeff McClear for the r and runway 2-2 at Albany, 9 3 That was kind of a complicated one. Yeah. Um, yeah we'll, we'll take I was about to step. say repeat it for uh, we'll, we'll take it one step at a time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's the way they're going to give you an approach clearance. They're going to say, you know, fly heading 050. In this case, he already told us, uh, clear direct Jebma. So we're flying to Jebma. So we don't have to worry about the heading. Um, they're, they're, they're going to say maintain, six, Roger, ready, sir, sir, squad, maintain one, two, such zero, and such zero, an altitude, 3,000, until Jebma. Third for the RNAV runway 22 two approach. Right. Um, if it's an ILS, they'll say fly heading 040, maintain 3,000 until established, cleared for the ILS runway 36 approach. You know. Okay. So, a uh, little different terminology yes, sir, between the ILS uh, and the, and the RNAV. Ready, sir, sir, the RNAV in a lot of ways is easier. Crossing over the final runway to about uh, eight miles out at a thousand feet right now. So just maintain your three thousand, and uh, you're you're doing a much better job actually maintaining heading and altitude, and I think it's because we blocked these two out. Yeah. Well, and I'm figuring out how to where to look. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, all of it. You're blocking so, that. So up. your your primary should be should be attitude. Right. Right, that's primary for any any change in configuration. Um, and in terms of altitude and heading, you got your altitude right here, and you got your heading right here. Actually, you got your heading right here. Yep. Okay, I see it. Track 234, November Delta. And upon reaching Jebma, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, contact the controller. No, no, in terms of air, uh, in terms of, of navigation, what are we going to do when we hit Jebma? Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn to a heading of three one three seven. Correct. And, and of course, he said three thousand. Right. Maintain three thousand until Jebma. So passing Jebma, we can descend to two thousand. Okay. See this? Yep. So two thousand is your minimum um, altitude as you transition uh, to the approach. Okay. And we're going to maintain 2,000 all the way to uh, Uniki, which is the final approach fix. And then we go all the way down to 531. So these are kind of unique in that this is almost a 90 degree cut. Yeah. Now you don't get this with an ILS. They have to give you a 45 degree intercept. Okay. No, no steeper than that. 
Um, that's not the case with, a, with an RNAV. And the GPS, by the way, is going to begin turning you early. You're going to see it begin flashing. Okay. And it'll say, turn 137 now. And when you see that flash down here in the bottom right-hand corner, make your turn, start your standard rate turn. Okay. The 137. We're 1.6 miles now from Jetma. And it'll start. There it goes. Well, and it, look at that. It counts you down. Isn't that cool? So go ahead. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Wait, okay. wait till it tells you to. I'll go. Start that standard rate turn immediately. I'm sorry, I missed the last again. And now we can go down to 2,000 feet. So go ahead and take take it. Uh, take it back to 16 inches. That'll give you a 500 foot per minute descent. And just let the nose go down. The 137 is what you're looking for in your heading. There you go. And we're descending now to 2,000 feet. So we are four miles now from Wavco, which is the um, intermediate fix. And this is this is a perfect configuration, Cole. This is okay. great. You're descending 500 feet per minute now. You're on heading. When we get to the initial approach fix and we turn inbound, we're going to reduce our power setting okay. even further because we want to fly this at about 105 knots. Number 527, Lima Charlie, Ryder. This is great. But we can cross Wafka at 2,000 feet, we're on the money. When we get to 2,000, just take it back to 21 inches or 20 inches or whatever. Get to Wafka, we're gonna to turn to what heading? We, uh, 227. It's almost like cheating. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really. All right. Go ahead. Right 227. Now watch your altitude now. Don't go below 2,000. Add some power. Don't fool with the heading bug until you get everything else taken care of. There you go. Okay. Good job on the standard rate. All right. Now then, go ahead and take it back to about 16 inches, but just maintain this pitch attitude. Don't let it descend. Okay. Okay. You want your airspeed to be about 105 knots. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna pitch for 105. We're five miles now from the final approach fix of Uniki, so we want to be on speed and on altitude and on heading. Okay. At that fix, so we're we're getting configured for that right now. Um, you can begin your uh, pre-landing checklist and all that kind of stuff. I'll just do it for you, right? Okay. The mixture is full, Rich. All right. Boy 3844 Jackson, Center Roger. I'll maintain front level 230. Oh, high RPM on the prop. Okay. Alright, you gotta put it all the way in. Okay. All right. And there's your 105. Isn't that magical? Yep. Go ahead and add a little power. Just to maintain that 105. 16 inches or 17 in that in that range there. Add a little bit more power. There you go. Okay, so 3.5 miles front now from you, Nikki. You're flying the heading of 227. That's great. Approach 
Dispatch, uh, Bonanza 934 Tango. We okay to switch over to Albany Town now? 934 Tango, yes sir, I was waiting on your report established, but that's fine. Uh, 934 Tango, you can contact Albany Tower on 120.25 today. We'll call you as well, thank you, 34 Tango. All right. I'll take care of the radio, don't worry. Okay. Got a little more, uh, add some more power. Let's get that 105. Might have lied about the 16 inches. Hey, Albany Tower, good evening, Bonanza 934 Tango is on the RNAV runway 22 approach. Bonanza 934 Tango, Albany Tower, good afternoon, wind 2, or her, good evening, wind 200 at 4, runway 23, clear to land. Runway 23, clear to land, 34 Tango. You changed the runway numbers. Huh, that's why it was closed a couple of weeks ago. Because, you know, over time, the magnetic heading will change. Yeah. So, yeah. so 1.8 miles to Uniki, so what's going to happen is we're pretty much on speed. That's good. Yep. Yeah. All you got to do, crossing the final approach fix, is drop the gear. Okay. And that's and that's going to give you a perfect 500 foot per minute descent. Okay. At the same power setting. Exactly. Okay. I mean, it should it should really be like 16, 17 inches. Take it back a little bit. It it, it shouldn't be 19, but I, you know it's a hot day, whatever. The engine's not developing as much power, so I, I get that. And my fat ass on up. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's what it is, Cole. Yeah. <laughs> You're fat ass in this plane. <laughs> right. Turn the landing lights on, too. See the nose of your light? Yep, you got it. Perfect. Okay, so... You don't have nav lights? You want those on, too? No, not... Or, not okay. Well, go ahead. Yeah, flip them on. I'll get it. Don't there worry you. about it. Oh, there they are. Zero point three. to the final approach fix, okay? The Uniki. So what are we going to do when we cross it? Gear down. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. We got to get down. Okay. Okay. Now get her into a 500 foot per minute descent. And we're descending to what altitude? Here, let me help you. Oh, 531. Okay. On a heading of, what's our final approach? Course 227. Uh, 227. 227. So where are we? We're, we're, we're you're deflected. You're to the left, of course. Go to the right. 227. Oh. Uh, so you're going to have to input a wind, co uh, wind correction here, okay? Okay. So, oh, right. okay, I see what you're saying. Get, get this in the center. Yep, yep. And and, here, and here's your, by the way, this is your glide path, right? Yep. So take some power out of it. Take a few inches out of it, because you need to steepen your descent to go down faster. Good, good, good. So just fight like an ILS. Okay. That's a pretty steep cut. You might want to begin taking some of that cut out. So final approach course of 227. Maybe when it hits that first dot, that's when you start taking it out. So you do a gumps check now, right? Yep. Gas, gas, undercarriage, mixture, and prop. The gear is down, green light, yep. confirmed down on the mechanical indicator. And this is good. We'll just make it a full stop landing. How about that? Okay. You know how to land this plane. Oh, yeah. You're an old pro. Going down to what altitude now? 531. 531. Okay. Good job following the glide slope down. That's perfect. Look at that. 227 now. Yep. Well, that's, um, that's a good. Yeah, you're just. That's perfect. For my. So obviously wind. you know you need a wind direction. Yep. You just got to figure out what it is. Yep. It looks to be about what 10 degrees maybe. Yep. All right, what altitude? We're at 700. You're, you're below the glide slope now. Don't go below the glide slope. Hold this altitude. Wait for the glide slope to center up. Going down to 531. Okay. All right. You're not there yet now. I, uh, my minimum's up. 600 is where 
go round it up. Okay, well, there you are. There you are. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and land the plane. Yeah. Okay. Gear down. Yep, we're good. So you want to cross the numbers about 80, ideally, so you can pull some power out. Okay. 80, yep, 80 knots we're looking at here. Right? Uh, 80 miles an hour. Okay. Yeah, you can lose about 20. Ah, there you go. That's the way to do it. Hold the hold it level and lead off some airspeed. Perfect. Ninety is good. If you want to do ninety for this first one, that's fine. Not as greasy as I liked it. Yeah, that's not on center line, but hey, that's you haven't landed a bonanza in about six months. Right. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay, keep it idling around a thousand. You wouldn't mind. All right. Commence three four tango. Turn left next taxiway. Taxi to the ramp via Charlie. Remain this frequency. Left next taxiway. Well, we're actually going to be a. Uh, a uh, taxi back for departure on runway 23, 3 4 Tango. And 3 4 Tango. Roger, runway 23, taxi via Charlie and Alpha. And what's your intentions after departure? Yeah, 2 3 via Charlie and Alpha. We're just going to be a uh, southbound via far departure on 3 4 Tango. Smoke 3 4 Tango, Roger. Hey, listen, I've seen worse Bonanza landings. Yeah, that was not bad. Uh, that was that was actually a very well flown uh, approach. I can tell you've been working with Franco on those. <laughs> 